Hey, y'all. Happy. What's the day? Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. I'm asking what the day is, and I got the tacos. Well, I can eat tacos on any day. Well, today, y'all, I got some blackened fish street tacos, and on them is blackened catfish, uh, guacamole, slaw, um, guacamole salsa. Yeah. That's what's on these. So, are y'all having tacos today? On, on a drink, I got a uh, Coke Zero. I'm having a struggle with my arm, my hand lately, y'all. And I don't know if I'm gonna still be hungry, but I got me a little yogurt parfait with some granola. I haven't eaten this is my first meal of the day, by the way. And I got me a few of those. I didn't take them all, but I got some of those pickled carrots. Oh snap! Anyway, let me say my grace, y'all. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body in Christ's name. Amen. So we're doing a training. We had training yesterday and today. Yeah. And mm, let y'all see that up close. And um, um my co-workers, they went to some Mediterranean restaurant and my co-worker asked me she's vegan you want me to get you something you want to come i'm like no i'm gonna eat my lunch i bring my lunch she said i knew you did but i thought maybe you wanted something different and i got tickled i guess because she think i eat <laughs> the same thing all the time but you know when i meal prep but since i've been at home I cook more on my lunch for my lunches now. And funnily enough, I got up this morning and put this fish in the oven while I was in the shower. So it could have so it cooked. But it's the toaster oven up here. I really could have cooked it up here. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you know. It don't take no time now. Cook. Y'all know the other week I was telling y'all about the older couple that had, had the um had the twins through IBF, right? I'm always saying something, y'all. Well, even remember what I saw this on. Mm. But the young lady was saying it was a cheaper method to getting pregnant than IBF. And so apparently you can order this sperm from this company. And They deliver it by mail to your house, right? And apparently, you have to track your ovulation. And you do everything yourself. You have to insert the sperm yourself with the syringe and stuff. I guess you got to keep it because it's coming in these temperature cool, I think. And it's bad. Oh, excuse me. And you have to I'm presuming keep it a certain extent. I didn't, anyway, I didn't get the whole gist of how it worked. But I believe she said each valve costs like $800. Now I could have had it wrong, but I'm almost certain that's what she said. I said, what? So it really intrigued me. So my crazy self, I goes out to the internet and look up sperm donors. I didn't find what I was looking for. No way. I didn't find what she was talking about. Not that I was trying to get any. I just was curious. After she had said this part. So. And it prompted me to think about something. You know, I've heard a case of point where, you know, 
of course, you know, the papa was a rolling stone, right? And had siblings, and then and these siblings ended up falling in love. But it ended up, they had the same daddy. But of course, they didn't know each other. It was found out later, you know, once they all, it was too late. They had been in a relationship. So that prompted me to think, because, you know, they say if you have a child with a relative, the child can have all kind of problems. It doesn't seem to be a limit on how many times somebody can, because these, these firm dogs, of course, they know who they are by name and stuff. But they're identifiable by, like, say your number is 2757 or something. I think that was one of the popular ones. So, one in particular, there were 800 children that could be tracked to him so far. Right? So, and I know the world is huge and there's billions and billions of people in the world, but there is a chance that some of these children can meet, right? No father is listed on the birth certificate. And from what I read, they can find out who their father is, you know, who the birth father is at 18. Of course, this person don't have any kind of responsibility to these children. It really started making me think about I know people want to have kids, but it made me start really thinking about that. So you really have to ask a whole lot, a whole lot of questions outside of the param uh, parameters of regular dating questions if you know you've come from a donor. And you meet somebody else who also have come from a donor. I don't know if there's a stigmatism of that. And people may not want to divulge that. But if you're talking about the way society is not getting in a relationship, those are questions you can have to ask. Because, say some find out who their father is and then say some don't. You know. And I guess... It's up to the donor, even if 18, if they track them down, if they want to contact them. I guess that's the same as adoption. I don't know. So, now when you adopt it, do they change your birth certificate? So, your parents will be listed on that because you know a lot of times you have to especially with school records and stuff of course i don't know how that works show your birth certificate y'all these fish tacos are delicious what do y'all eat on fish tacos sometimes i was telling my girlfriend i eat lettuce and tomato sometimes i eat slaw cabbage mix sometimes i eat the just the slaw mix i couldn't make up in my mind if i wanted fish or shrimp taco but I don't have, I got some, I got some cooked shrimp in there, but they're in a the shrimp ring. I don't really buy cooked shrimp. I got some raw shrimp up there, but they got the tails on them. I ain't feel like, you know, doing all that. So, this fish was just fine. I don't know, y'all. So, would you consider doing a sperm donation and what do you think you know are the rights of the child to know with the sperm donation stuff could you imagine if i mean that's per people probably had kids all over the world anyway the one i saw like i said i saw several like 45 one had a hundred and something that could be tracked back to them well, one had found like 45 siblings. And 
one had like 800. Could you imagine finding out you ate one or 800, you got 700 and so far now, I ain't counting. You got 799 siblings. I wonder sometimes um, I remember this story. It was an African American brothers. And they had actually been friends. And later found out they were brothers. And the mothers went to the same church, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what morning show that was on. But they had both did the sperm donation. So, it's indeed possible. And I think he would do one of them, one of those DNA test things, you know. Oh, somebody had asked me, and I was telling my brother too. These are the, the um, low carb uh, street tacos, and I don't think I think you get twelve or whatever in here. But there's some neat little old things, and you can still get your tacos in if you are interested. And it's like three per three grams of carbs. Now, people who keto, I don't know if this is something you want to do now, but I'm saying if you still want some tacos, and I think these are good options. They're really good to me. I like them anyway. Oh, oh excuse me. That's a lot of people to try to track down and get to know, though. Say, if you did want to start looking for the people just to find if you have some type of connection. But the thing about these brothers is they genuinely. So, it's very likely that you're, that's what I'm saying. If women went to the same church, that you could end up, you know, right there with each other, right on top of each other. Huh. It's just happened to be. <sighs> Two brothers. Somebody asked me why I don't really go out to lunch much. It's just been a discipline of mine for years. And besides that, I don't eat out much. I, I do like to eat out. But I generally cook my own food. But specifically when my daughter was in school, she was involved in a lot of stuff. And I cook home meal quite meals quite a lot. I was also, you know, working on my MBA, my bachelor's and my MBA, and my master's while she was in school. So we had a lot going on with all the stuff and all the activities she was in. So I've always been very on a budget. Oh, let's just say that. And so my thing was I was watching lunch only occasionally because. If you eat out for lunch and say you're tired and got to eat after dinner, it wasn't an option. I had to feed my daughter. So, if I spent $10 or $15 in the daytime and I got to spend $20 on us to eat at night, that starts to add up. So, you have to kind of make some conscious decisions on how you're going to spend your money. And that was the thing. Y'all, this is just some strawberries, some chocolate chips, and the vanilla yogurt. And this is some of that grain-free granola. Now, I ordered the previous one off of um, Amazon. It was $10, right? This right here I got from Target. It's not really that good. It's not as good as the one off Amazon. Let's just say that. Yeah, I'm not, it's not bad, but it's not as good as the one off Amazon. Right. And so... Yeah, I don't know why I'm putting my trash in that bag. I'm taking that bag home. I got my stuff in it. And, um, uh, what was I saying? This is some kind of grain free something. I don't think I paid but like $3.99 for it at Target, though. $3.99 or $5.99. It wasn't no $10. I know that, so. But.
Sorry about that, y'all. I was getting a call. Maybe it's the flavor. I don't know. But it's all right. And I just get those Lily bacon chips or either the mild chocolate. Y'all. Can y'all believe I love them? Cucumber go bad. I didn't forget it was in there. No, I didn't. They were one of them English cucumbers, too. And they're a little bit more expensive. What happened was, it been in there about a week. I left it in there. Plastic. You know, the little bag you get at the thing. And this morning when I was fixing my lunch, I said, I'm going to cut up me some cucumbers. Because I only had the one in there left. I got to stop and get me some cucumbers somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to stop tonight, though. But, um, uh, I text the thing out. I'm like, it look like mold spots on this cucumber. Y'all, the thing had about several mold spots all up and through there. And I started trying to cut it anyway. But I'm like, if you don't throw that thing in the trash, well, don't y'all hate to throw stuff away like that? I know I do. Mm. The man's supposed to be coming about my internet. In the morning, between 8 and 10, I sure hope he get that early call. Uh um, I got a meeting at 10 o'clock. Mm. I hope you be there and be done. I have permit. Has only fixing stuff if it's an emergency. So I imagine when they do start being able to come back up in people's apartment. They're going to have so many back orders of stuff being need to be fixed. I need several things fixed in my house. But ain't none of it no emergency. Right. Like, one of my closets in the bedroom, both the doors and came off track. Um, in the bathroom, one that, uh, in a guest bathroom, the door decided to come off. I just open the door up. I keep, like, stuff down there, like some stock stuff. And what else? It was one more thing. Oh, I tried to order that myself. I might just ask the maintenance man, could he give me one? My vinyl hood stove, like, um, I need a new one. Mm-hmm. So. I heard a sad story, y'all, about, and I've heard several of these incidents previously where people have gotten seriously injured on those hammocks. That ain't never been nothing that really uh, intrigued me anyway, getting on the hammock, but these two sisters, young sisters, y'all, passed away. Maybe they were 12 and 14. I think I read it on Yahoo. Because the hammock collapsed. Part of it was tied to a tree. And the other part was tied to a concrete thing. And the collapse in the concrete pillar fell on top of them. And they died. It was really sad. So... My lunch was delicious, y'all. What y'all had for lunch today? I enjoyed it anyway. It hit the spot. So 
So, as y'all know, Independence Day is next week, the 4th of July. And typically, they have uh, somebody was out there, all these firework displays, and you know, people going to gatherings and stuff. I wonder if they still gonna have that stuff or they gonna, you know, cancel all that. And what made me think about it, somebody was out there the other night. And no, no. Uh, that was Monday night. Out there. And it was 12 something. Out there uh, fooling around with them doing firecrackers and fireworks. I'm like, who done bought their child at mess? Uh, it might have been somebody wrong. Why well, I'm saying it was a child. I don't know. I just count on the screen. It looks like we got 30 more minutes for lunch. Anyway, y'all. That's enough of my yakking yakking i hope y'all are having something good and delicious because my lunch truly was thank y'all for joining me and spending part of your day with me you know i love and appreciate you god loves you the most remember to always be kind to yourself and others be joyful and be blessed and i'll see y'all later this week love you much bye